everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Hoger. We have Regis Altair from Hollow Stars, and he has done something that he has mentioned in his own uh, Twitter which is making his own 3D studio. We have uh, Ame, who has helped others like Kiara and others make it on the Hollow EN, um, Hollow Live EN side on Myth and such like that. Now Altair, probably also in consultation with Ame and maybe other people who know better than him, because that's what I would do, uh, is getting his own studio too. He has it. And this is where he's saying they're in 3D. I, I announced it on Twitter, on X.com, that I got myself a little studio. So it's a, it's a small little, small little uh, horse ride away from home. But now that I have my own studio area, my own little studio office, you guys are not ready for what we have in store for you. More 3D streams. I invested so much money. I, invi I invested so much money. Nah, well, yeah, <laughs> that happens. Everything you have given me these past two years, whether it be through Super Chats, through memberships, through merch being bought, through meeting me at conventions, doing some meet and greets and everything I saved I saved a bit by 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 bit that is what you have to do that's what you have to do two years I saved for two years you guys two years holy crap and look at this we have so much space now now today I am not using the full 3d setup that I wanted to I'm actually devising it into a three stage setup number one first stage I have a couple of sensors around the area with some VR trackers so that with my valve index we can do a lot more VR streams with so much space oh that's very nice a lot of VR stuff now level two is Rokoko that's what I'm using today I'm using a Rokoko smart suit ah the smart suits are good smart suits really good okay. studio. I'm gonna be using it for more casual streams for example if I just wanted to chill just walk around talk a bit or if I wanted to play a video game and I wanted you guys to see what I'm doing with my hands and how I'm moving all stuff like that we'll be using Rokoko okay one thing I wanted to say with Rokoko I actually have multiple suits so that means you know if the boys choose to take time out of their busy 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 day and come visit that is so nice of holy there, crack here at the guild hall and that's so very nice of streams with me see what I'm saying is that you know we can do one one person setup but the beauty of my office is that we can do multiple people the, the track and the, the reflective balls and everything but that is level three of our tracking and that is all because of you so yep they're everything. doing level three that is level three they do our... reflective balls everything the, the full-on like motion tracking the, the mocap studio the mocap thing that you would see in like more high-end studios they're doing that and i'm sure that even if he had to get a loan from hollow life they would have allowed that so that is wonderful he's done it for his friends he's done it for everybody who you know wants to be involved in this that is great that is something well i'm pretty sure there are people in the Sanji who would want to do that, but with the little money that the actual uh, organization gives them, it is unfortunate that they may not be able to do that because, you know, they don't get as much as Hololive does for their merch. They don't get as much as Hololive does. Hololive gives their talents because Hololive gives their talents. One thing you have to remember, Hololive, Hollow Stars gives their talents a base salary. That is no matter what they do, if they take a hiatus, whatever, as long as they're employed with the company, they get a base salary. And then above that, you have the super chats, you have the memberships, you have the, um, you know, the, the, their cut for the memberships. You have their cut for uh, voice packs, for any merchandise, for any meet and greets, for any anything else that goes on to them. So they have a base salary to start off with, which is something that Niji Sanji doesn't do. That's how come they can do things like this. Altair being a good leader, of course. And I wanted to push that out because I like pushing out positive things, whether it be from Nidhi Sanji or Hollow Life. I don't want to be a negative Nancy the whole time. I want to give you guys some positivity. I would honestly love to see this. I would honestly love to see this um, because Doki Bird and uh, Vivi, which was a fan of Selen, it still is a fan of Selen. She got in because she was a fan of Selen, if I'm not mistaken. Selen Pomo, I believe, were her Oshis. So if we can get the... Vivi, Victoria Brightshield. I don't care if she's in EGN. She is a sweet woman. She is... I am always try to mark each VTuber based on what they do and based on who they are. She's a good one. She was been ignored by Niji Sanji EN, by Niji Sanji as the organization. She had the, the misfortune of going into Niji Sanji wanting to meet and collab with her uh, Oshis only to have them either graduate or be terminated. Because, of course, you know, she understands that it's not because, you know, it's then like, oh my God, I hate that they did this. No, it's more like I'm sad that they had to, you know, that that had to happen to them and that they weren't happy in the case of Pomu, weren't happy enough being in the organization. 
But I would absolutely love seeing this. It'll be so rad once Vivi manages to free herself. She becomes fixed squad mate for Doki in fighting games. I'd have to uh, be a, take a effing miracle by God for Niti to allow Vivi and anyone into fighting games uh, to take part in a tournament with Doki in it. Which is pretty effing dumb on Niti's part. Like, I don't care. Like, as an agency, if I were a leader of an agency, I'm like, yeah, it's my former, that's a former talent in my agency. But then again, it's a former talent in my agency. If it can bring any kind of you know, new blood to watch one of my VTubers, one of the VTubers that's under me as, you know, an agency, CEO, manager, whatever you want to call it, then yes, I'd go for it. I go for every single collab I can that is beneficial, of course. I wouldn't go for like a hentai collab or any of that kind of stuff like that, unless I'm like via lure, which was, which is specifically more adult oriented. If I was running a say so VTuber agency or, or a say so's VTuber agency where I just allow them to do what they want, um, I would be going for things like this. Nidhi Sanji is shooting themselves in the foot by doing this. They didn't pick both. It'll be so funny. He's got this happen because it would be so effing funny. It would be hilarious, honestly, if he chose both. This hurts for me. I'm super into FGC, the fighting game community, and I've been really happy that Vivi and Rosemi have gotten into it too. But I won't watch Niji. And I'm super happy for Doki too. And man, it would be so cool to see her play with or against Vivi in matches. But Niji won't let that happen at all. And that's the sad part because they are more into their own vanity they're more into their own ego it than they are into just looking at good opportunities. And also they reward uh, loyalty in weird ways. Like I know Elira is getting rewarded a lot for her loyalty and other people aren't because maybe they've spoken out in their PLs or maybe they just aren't as big or as um, bootlegging as, as some others maybe. And, and that is a rumor on my part that is, you know, there is no proof of anyone bootlegging, but those are the rumors that are popping out there. Uh, whether or not that is true, that is up to the managers to decide whether that's appropriate or not. That's up to the livers to know whether or not they're doing it. Like I said, I will judge them based on what is provable and observable versus what is a rumor. Another one bites the dust, or maybe this one bit the dust a long time ago, but it seems like they took a hiatus to figure out what they were going to do. Daily dose of EN VTubers used to be like daily dose of Nidhi Sanji EN, I believe. And, um, particular clip channel that used to do clip Nidhi and livers rebranded as a clipping other EN livers. I mean, once they're a clipper, they're always going to be a clipper. Like, they enjoy doing this. They enjoy clipping, so why stop? I, you know, they already had 64K subscribers. So, again, why stop? Of course, as you can see, uh, some of their stuff was um, 66K, 340K, that type of stuff like that. They had a lot of stuff going on. But um, they, of course, have the right to continue doing what they're doing. And, you know, if it's part of their, their daily living situation where they're making money for their living expenses and things like that, then yes, of course, continue doing what you're going to do. Keep on that grind, brother or sister. Keep on that grind. Keep going. Keep doing your thing. Because, I mean, I, Clippers are how I got into VTubing, honestly. Clippers are how I got into VTubing because I watch a lot of JP VTubers or I enjoy a lot of JP VTubers. And Clippers, they do the translations of, you know, the most important moments or at least the, the most clippable moments. And that is something that, I mean, I can't do. I don't translate these things. So I'm very glad when people do this. Even of the ENV tubers, I can't watch the 50 or 60 that I am following all the time. So clips help me out in figuring out what, you know, what moments are best and things like that. Plenty of amount, uh, you know, plenty of boycotted Niji Sanji. It's very clever. Well, if he's happy with the change, why not? Three quarters of Niji N community just up and left. So it's not shocking that a lot of clippers also left and en masse. That's one way to rebrand their channel, I guess. Would also give a perfect excuse to clip former EN livers as well. About time, I had to ignore their channel and videos because I kept seeing old videos with Niji Sanji and turned me off. Link for the lazy is daily dose of EM VTubers on YouTube. Uh, livers only used by the black company. The cover, you know, they cover VTubers. So yeah, it's basically people are being happy with their change. Um, so you know, of course, they're sharing the channel, which is very good because you got to get them the props that they need for making a big change because it's a change that is scary for anybody when you're changing your bread and butter to something that you knew was going to be consistently watched, which was Nidhi Sanji EN at that point, and you're changing it to just EN VTubers, there's less of a chance people are going to watch you. There's more of a risk of, you know, your brand dying off, which you don't want after you've built a brand that has almost 100K. It's, it's beyond 50K at least. So I'm very happy for them. Of course, go and watch them if you want. Go and support them now that they are out of that black circle that they were a part of. Uh, and just, you know, support 
other creators as much as you can. This is big news that I want to signal boost. This is news that I want uh, YouTube to fix. Honestly, YouTube, you guys make some stupid mistakes. I'll be honest. I work for you technically because I am monetized. So I technically work for you. But holy crap, being a contractor under you guys is a scary thing because this can happen. At any moment, you can be seen as an impersonator. You can be seen as whatever. Clip channels have been hit really hard recently as there was a Japanese clip channel who got demonetized for supposed impersonation, got demonetized for reuse content and for um not they, according to youtube not disclosing that they were they were um sponsoring or whatever uh, uh, a vtuber or you know like basically being their advertising arm or whatever you know a vtuber this is another thing with shy lily youtube deleted my channel shy lily clips for impersonation two plus years of work gone in the blink of an eye it was specified everywhere that the channel was not run by her in the channel bio and in every video description i've seen an appeal i sent an appeal and I'm still waiting. This is crazy. And this is what YouTube sent them. We reviewed your content and found severe repeated violations of our impersonation policy. Because of this, we have removed your channel from YouTube. Me thinks this was a, for whatever reason, haters, uh, Shy Lily haters or whatever, sending um, reports on the channel. We know it's probably very upsetting news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. If we think a channel severely violates our policies, we take down to protect other users on the platform. So they're just doing their BS uh Warrior plate responses. Shy Lily herself has said, "You uh, team YouTube, please give this channel back. He works for me, so this is an actually employee of Shy Lily and is not impersonating me. Here's his YouTube channel link or YouTube channel, etc. Thank you. Of course, thank you YouTube. Thank you uh, Lily for doing this for Pierre. Uh, even with Shy Lily's blessing, I have a spoiler for you all. They're f they're fun." By AI now, they're doing everything by AI now. They pretend they're looking into it and are replying and saying they will look into it. But yeah, a lot of their stuff is AI. They very, very rarely actually double check their stuff. I've had issues with other channels, um, like my past channel, the channel that I still work with, Matt Salvi Gaming, who um, I've had things be reviewed. And they, they until I actually like get a human being, gets reviewed and it's like, oh, sorry, we made a mistake. It wasn't that. Like uh, back in the day, it was seen as reused content. I did, um, I sent them a video showing that it's not reused, that the fact that I go through editing and uh, the fact that I put in fair use, etc. It took like three or four times before that was uh, uh, rescinded. Uh, it is no longer under uh, restriction because of reused content because I did reaction content on there. They consider it reused and impersonation and all that kind of stuff. So that takes a while to fix it, especially as a small channel like myself. Hopefully with Lily's blessing, uh, it can actually get you know benefited. YouTube, don't balk our man Pierre. And yeah, his channel is gone. His channel is no longer there. His channel, you see this, and it says the channel has been removed because it violated community guidelines. Two plus years of work. That's a lot of time for anybody. And of course, I do hope that YouTube gets their head out of their butts and actually starts actually a human review because you go through so many AI reviews. Uh, it goes through an actual human review because when a human reviewed my stuff, they fixed it. So when a human reviews Pierre's stuff, especially with Shy Lily, the person that they're quote unquote impersonating, saying that they aren't impersonating that person, that hopefully will get things fixed. As we have covered before, Ebby was selling their stuff because they were no longer feeling connected to their, uh, you know, their model and everything that they have. So um, they're going to post, they, they did post this, all this stuff. And this person says, I am the new owner of this design. My name is Love Ebby, but you can also call me Ebby for short. I am so excited to meet you all very soon. I will post my estimated debut date and upcoming plans within a week. Thank you. For now, follow my socials. So they have purchased it for an undisclosed price. Originally, I believe it was 2,300 pounds, which is something like $3,000. Uh, that's a lot, but still it's it's a steal for everything already being done. You don't have to wait for the, the year or so. A lot of times these people have to wait for, or several months if they are popular enough, several months to a year or years to get everything fully um, done and you know fully completed. Forgot to mention credits are coming soon too. Just waiting on some names and for the art. So. What they're saying there is all this art that was purchased by them. They want to be able to correctly mention the mamas, uh, the art mamas, the uh, rigging mama or papa, the art mama or papa for this kind of stuff. Nice to meet you, uh, another Ebby. Uh, and of course, nice to meet you as well. They are growing, of course. They're pre-debut, but they have seven, 678. And they are hopefully going to be treated as new and not treated by the thing that they have purchased by the content that they have purchased themselves 
Welcome to the community. Uh, super cute design. I'm glad you found a good home. Thank you. Hello. Everyone's just saying, nice to meet you. Congratulations. The community, at least the small VTuber community, is welcoming them with open arms. And I hope that they have a lot of fun with everything that goes on in the future. Moving on with more, like this is more of a question, more of a, a you know, like an opinion. Uh, does anyone know why Sayu doesn't seem to be joining Phase Connect? She, it, I think it's a lot of, personally, my personal opinion, a lot of her past, a lot of agencies don't um, don't go for quote unquote risky people. Although I don't see Sayu as risky personally myself. Agencies have different lenses that they look through, especially agencies that want a girl like FaZe, Idol, etc., uh, uh, Vishojo. Those other ones, they go for less brand risks. And unfortunately, because of all of the haters, all of that stuff. And it's not because of Sayu herself. Sayu herself is not a brand risk. Sayu herself has been doing an amazing job to uh, create a new brand and to create a new view of what she is. But there's still that past that know that there is a small group of people that is a subset of very, very loud people who do not let her forget it. There are, like I mentioned in other uh, videos, there are people even nowadays, small VTubers, independent VTubers, who will not collab with her because of the past and the perception that it will cause them chaos and it'll cause them pain, and etc. Uh, that is the main reason, I think, what it is. Um, where exactly did you get that idea? It's not a secret that Face purchases the IP of Invaders, as shown by the firing and subsequent erasure of Amadis Furayuri. Uh, I seriously doubt Sayu is willing to take that sort of risk after suffering what she's endured. Just probably one of the main reasons she won't join. Uh, as far as I know, Vishojo is the only one who lets you keep your IP. That is another thing I didn't think about. That is a new thing. That's why I like reading these comments because it, like, I don't think about everything that pops up. Yes, if they purchase their IP and then they, you know, your IP is gone once you are gone, whether it is by your own choice or forced on you by management for whatever reason, then your IP is gone. Sayu has had this IP for a very long time, way before she was with um, Zion on Nidisanji EN. She had this. She grew this uh, strong backing that she has now, the Synchronites. She grew this herself. And seeing that, of course, you know, if you're thinking just purely business, yes, buy from me and then, you know, you can do whatever the hell you want once I'm gone. But when you are a person like myself or like Sayu, Sayo, again, is several orders of magnitude. So I'm not comparing myself directly, but just because I'm here in front of you, uh, who's worked hard to grow the brand, to grow what they are. And like I've been streaming for three years, for over three years. And my recent channel, this one, has grown dramatically. And having that be purchased by someone would be great, of course. But then having the risk of whatever whim they have, they could just destroy your three years, four years, whatever of hard work. And it, then you just have to start all over again. If you want to start after them, that's painful. That's memories. That's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears put into that. And it is hard to let go. And that's probably why she's not doing it. Another reason. Um, and I can understand that. And I, you know, as a independent VTuber myself, I can understand the risks that ha that can come with that. Vexoria the Sun Eater is someone that is very well known has a large following, 87.4K on Twitter, and even larger on Twitch. They are a very fun creator. They have their, you know, say salt side. They have their science team side, just like Melody does. They do go on that other bait site, and um, they have beaten, from what I know, at least they are in remission. They are a breast cancer survivor, and that's what the pink ribbon is all for. Uh, they have... That is a long struggle. That is a hard struggle. That is a tiring struggle. So she is taking a break from VTubing for a while. She's taking a hiatus. Like it's a, it's a farewell stream because she's going to be on an indefinite hiatus as far as I know. Indefinite meaning not like it's going to be years, but she doesn't have a return date, which is what she means by indefinite in this case. And of course, um, this is her actual here. And here's where she mentions it. Of course, like she says, 83... 0.7k followers on Victoria the Sun Eater, uh, her Twitch channel. And here we have a small clip that I was able to find. People giving her lots of love, people, uh, you know, supporting her a lot. And here's what she has to say about it. Love you, mommy. Thank you. It's It's been a long road. Nobody tells you how long exactly. Keep the fight be. on and never stop. We, ne we ain't gonna stop. We just need a little bit of a rest for a bit because it's tiring. It's really, really tiring. No one tells you how tiring it's gonna be. And everybody says, okay, well, you're gonna do, you know, gonna do chemo and then you're gonna do surgery and then you're gonna do radiation. And then they say, well, we're gonna do a uh, cleanup chemo, but you gotta do 14 rounds of that. And I'm like, it's tiring. Oh. Holy crap. 
<sighs> Thanks. Love that. At least it's not as bad as the first round of chemo that I got, but it's like people thought, oh, well, you're done chemo. I thought you were done. And I'm like, well, that's not exactly how that works. Yeah, I mean, I don't know Chemo how Chemo is like they're injecting medicine into your veins, and radiation is like they put you in a machine, yeah. and they, like, put lasers into you <laughs> to the areas where the tumor beds are. And that's how I got radiation pneumonitis. Oh, which no. Which is apparently really rare. And the, the radiation doctor was like, so I see that you're getting all of these rare things. And I'm like, yep, sure am. <laughs> so, yeah, that is one of the reasons why she's taking this break. It is very tiring on a body. Um, I had a aunt who passed away from cancer and her chemo was, we, I saw her waste away with chemo. And uh, it, with, because the chemo wasn't able to take everything and take care of everything, I'm very, very happy that Victoria is survival, has a big, you know, the survival right now is gonna be much higher for her. I'm glad that she is doing extremely well. Her community is right behind her. Everyone is supporting her decision, of course. Even if they didn't, this is a decision that's up to her, not us, of course. I have I have watched Victoria in the past. She's very uh, chipper, as some people would say, very cheery. And it is, like I said, her choice, whether she continues doing this or not, whether she decides at some point it's over and she doesn't want to do it anymore. That is up to her right now. But right now, as far as I know, it's a hiatus because she's going to be doing that stuff. And again, chemo is a destructive mechanism because it is not a, it's not one of those like laser pointer things that just attacks a tumor. No, it attacks every cell in your body. So you get tired, you get weak, you get like the pneumonitis and all that kind of stuff that happens because it attacks, it's a broad spectrum attack. It isn't like, oh, it's just going to attack the tumor cells. So you're going to be fine. No, it attacks every cell it comes in contact with. And that's unfortunately the only thing that we have to do that. That's why people lose hair and things like that. Fortunately, it's the only thing we have in order to fight that. But I'm glad she fought the, the hard fight and she's on the positive side right now. This will be treating a little bit more like a meme. It is VTuber Transparency with Dizzy Dokoro. Uh, you know, Dizzy being herself. Let's just see what she has to say this time. It's like you can see right through me, is what some VTuber agencies might want you to think. People really like to talk about transparency in VTuber agencies, but what does that really mean? According to Forbes, business transparency is a process of being open, honest, and straightforward about it's, various It's a meme because operations. she's actually being serious. This might include <laughs> things like revenue, internal processes, how a company is sourcing their products, and communications. It's it's sort of a buzzword in business nowadays, but there are definitely some things that businesses don't want oh, you to shit. see. And some businesses <laughs> oh, might <shit>. even practice <laughs> selective screening oh, to shoot, keep yes. your eyes off internal affairs. So how do I know if an agency is really being transparent with me? Well, actions tend to speak a lot louder than they words. They do, they so do. if you're considering applying for an agency, keep your eyes on the talents and what they're producing. Does the agency have a track record of putting out high quality MVs? How about merch support or organizing? Merch support being the coffee stuff and quality quality stuff, quality stuff that they produce, which is being, you know, the hag VTuber stuff that, of course, uh, Sakana and his VTuber agency have. That is, <laughs> even though it was a little bit serious on part of it, I'm treating it kind of like a meme because, you know, you have Sakana's little little butt being right there. You have, you know, Dizzy Dokoro doing her craziness with uh, trying to be serious sometimes too. So yeah, it's a serious VTuber meme, a meme, a meme that's trying to be serious. I don't know. You, you guys, you guys uh, give me the opinion there. Little bit of an outside update. I like giving these other, you know, maybe not so uh, big, huge news, kind of a levity thing, kind of like to cleanse the soul when it comes to a lot of these news. Uh, Matara debut bundle and Kuro Standee finally arrived and the Doki Bird Rob a Bank bundle arrived the next day. So they, they got the Doki bundle, which was the one that happened before she got her new skin suit. And you had the Matara and um, the Standee right there that you have there. They're all there. And that is great. It's great to see fans get wonderful merch like this. It's great to see them get this type of merch. That's why I'm showing it because there are good fandoms and there are fandoms that can get toxic. Even the fandoms inside of the shoujo can sometimes be toxic. The fans themselves, not the livers, but, um, Overall, they all try to push positivity in Vishoujo, at least from what I've seen. They try to push positivity, and um, Doki Bird always tries to push positivity, especially after the situation that she went through. So seeing a fan get these things, order these things, and just, you know, have a good time, uh, I like that. And just for full transparency, I also, I think I ordered the uh, Doki Bird plush. I think I ordered the plush. It should be here sometime next year, probably. <laughs> or late August or whenever the heck it is. I don't even check. I haven't even checked, but I know it's it's out there somewhere. Here we have Fauna, uh, the Hell Pup VTuber. She's a Hellhound pup. She does variety streaming. And let's take a look at 
at her actual VTuber, basically the showcase. She has the tattoos and all that kind of fun stuff. And um, she she be thick boys. She be thick boys. Uh, there she goes. She's trying to get more collabs for VTubers with VTubers, which is a great thing to have. And we're taking a look at her Twitch here, kind of giving you a little bit of a feel for how they are. Let's go into their it's stream. Way too fast. Oh. I'm touching myself tonight. But it's like, I'm probably just going to let the ghost face kill me and see if we can get the last person out. But until he decides to kill me, I'm just going to work on Jens. There you go. Jens being generators. This is Dead by Daylight. This is one of the main things she's been playing. Seven Days to Die, Dead by Daylight. Um, Seven Days to Die, more uh, some Stardew Valley occasionally. Uh, recently, been looks like it's been on a Dead by Daylight binge, of course. And here's the Stardew Valley part. Um, see her more comfy streams. Is that the one where they like make the chicken pies? Yeah. I fucking no. So yeah, been doing all this type of stuff. It just has a lot of fun. The variety streaming can be very oh, no. fun. It can be hard to get a foothold, but it is very fun. She has gotten her own foothold, as you can see right here, 1.9k subscribers. Uh, hey there, I'm Fauna, 18 plus Hellhound, variety streamer, your new favorite uh, tavern hostess. Come join us at the Hound's Tavern. So yeah, she has her, her schedule, I believe, is only going to be Tuesday she did it, and I think uh, Friday is going to be her next Dead by Daylight stream. She is putting her, as many VTubers do, puts her, you know, what she's going to be doing here on her Twitter, her Twitter. I don't know why I said Twitter before, but her Twitter. Uh, we have the Fauna, the Hellpup VTuber. And thank you so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase. I hope you continue to grow and I hope you continue to get more eyes on your channel and on your content. And for anyone who wants to be a part of such v VTuber showcases like this, there is a form down below in the description and in the pinned comments that I'm going to put out on the video that will get lead you to the google form where you can uh, put all your information in there of course non-identifying information just your information as a vtuber and then i will get to you in 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 the line of the vtubers that i'm doing a showcase for all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.